You are listening to the No Invite Podcast. Season three. The progression. The progression. Follow us on Instagram at no underscore invite underscore podcast or look us up on YouTube at No Invite Podcast. The best kept secret. Bang, we're back. No Invite Podcast, episode 95. We're in the building live as always. I mean live for now. By the time you get this, it might be a couple days for us. But that just means we're living in the future. Hey. So <laughs> so anyways, we got we got uh, our partner, our teammate, our friend, our folks. What's going on? Please tell the world who you are. Hey, it's Hot Mama. That's right. HT Mama, you know what I'm saying? I'm just totally ignoring the fact that she says she don't want me to say it like that. But it's kind of stuck in my head now. Um, it's just me and you, no Patty. Patty's off, you know, Thor Love and Thunder dropped the other night, so I'm sure Patty's on her press run with the Avengers, um, you know, promoting the, the brand. Uh, Anne is MIA, wherever you are, Anne, I hope you are okay. I'm pretty sure it's just a hangover that's been fucking with you or something. Hey, the kids are gone, right? They're with their grandma or something, so. She, you heard what she said she was going to be on. Fucking hot girl summer. Yeah, she's on, her hot, she's on her hot girl. She said she's about to be back for the streets, so. <laughs> We'll have to check the signs then. <laughs> I mean, that's why I'm not concerned. Had it had it been something that maybe was out of the ordinary, then I'd been like, you know what? We're gonna send a search party out for Anne, but we kind of know already. <laughs> kind of knew what was coming. She for the streets. All we ask is, we, and this is to the streets, is that you give her back at the end of the weekend. She got shit to do. <laughs> we all do. We like those uh, story updates too, Anne. I know, man. <laughs> Anne always got. The best fucking stories though. So shout out to Ann. Ho- hopefully you good. Shout out to Patty. It's just me and you in the building right now. It's been a crazy week. I know that um, summer's in full, full fucking effect. It feels like hell outside. Mm. Like my car said that it was eighty five degrees, but I think that was lying. It hasn't been lying. There's yeah. no way that it's just eighty five degrees right yeah. now. Like I think I think there's levels <sighs> to hot too. Cause some people are like, for instance, there's a difference between being hot coming home from work or coming home from being outside doing something and then there's a difference between being hot like i've been home all day you know what i'm saying no i don't know i think i just went somewhere else with that. <laughs> <laughs> because i started this new chat recently and it is hot and that's something that you do at home but not out on the streets right like yeah i mean yeah i mean so, that's where i went i'm sorry so, but what so were you saying <laughs> it kind of applies i mean yeah <laughs> no, i get what you're saying but no um no i just mean like Sometimes I'll be like, my girl's way hotter than I am. As far well, she is way hotter than I am. See, that's, this is this could go so, this could fact. go like a lot of different fucking ways. Maybe I just you know what? Never mind. We're just gonna keep it going because I'm gonna get sidetracked every time. Sorry. Yeah, I, you know, it's, it's it's one of those conversations where you're, it's easy for people to lose track of what we're really talking about. You dig know what I'm saying? Basically, it's hot out. It's Basically, hot it's out summer. Here for old <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Now, did he say hard or hot? No, he said it's hard, but I just like but to switch it up. And too, also, yeah, I'm a butcher when it comes to lyrics, so we could just leave it to me either way. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I think everybody hears things just a little differently, you know what I mean? Uh, I For the longest, I didn't know that, uh, like that Michael Jackson song, he was like, uh, everybody used to say, Mama say, Mama sa, Mama kusa. Really, that's not what he was saying. What was he saying? He said, I'm going to say it one more time. I'm not going to stop. But he was Ooh, saying I'm it say so. It one more time, I'm not going to stop. Say it. Okay, exactly. I see. Exactly. You. <laughs> you see, you see, it makes sense, right? But it, I'm like, I'm like, yo, because think about it. All, all these years that if anybody ever thought that it really sounded like that, you was like, singing it like that and you probably every now and then probably ask yourself what the fuck does that mean all right i got one for you what about the uh the i'm blue song you know that i'm blue i'm a knee i'm a yeah, you know? yeah so what do you think he says i have no fucking idea okay so it i always thought it was like i'm blue abba dee abba da or something but then that obviously doesn't make sense because what the fuck does that mean right yeah so i heard somewhere along the way that it's i'm blue i'm in need of a guy i'm in need of a guy i'm serious? in need of a guy and i'm like hey yeah, yeah. are you serious <laughs> yeah so listen to it if you do you know and, no you and know sing what that part <laughs> i believe you <laughs> nah i don't know about singing that part but yeah i get what you're saying feel it in your soul <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah i don't feel that in my soul my soul you know has vagina in it you know what I'm saying? That's what it feels. <laughs> That's what it feels. Yeah, at least that. You know what I'm saying? But uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, but what's it called? Uh, nah, there's a lot of songs like that that you don't fucking know. It's like you know, uh, I've always tripped off that. I always tripped off that because I always thought I was like, what else? There's another one. Um, okay, no, my favorites though are like all the memes that they've been making recently, like making fun of it. Like I can't think of a good one off the top of my head, 
But you know where it's like, uh, I posted a meme of it recently where it was like this girl getting cummed on and it was like, come over me right now. Or how does that song go, right? It goes, um, come over me. It doesn't, I can't think of it too fast. But I think those ones are funny, the memes, right? Where it's like, they, or whatever they, they said. Yeah, yeah. Or whatever they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, no. I, I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I just can't think of a clever one right now. <laughs> you know what? That's the thing about memes. There's so much and there's so much gold in memes. Like, oh, it's like ridiculous. I was telling people, I think we, we talked about it too. It's like, yo, um, when you when 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 people that make memes, you know, you get to see exactly how funny everyday people are. You know what I'm saying? Because memes ain't somebody like they're they're made from everywhere, but a lot of them just regular people are just making them and just people. posting them, and they pick and they go because they're relatable. So that's what I'm saying. It's like yo, you don't fucking know where these motherfuckers are coming from, but that's you just find out really how funny people are, man. I feel like the internet fucking... has given the people the opportunity to just say the things that they've been thinking, but they've been like maybe too embarrassed to say in front of other people because yeah. of you know whatever judgments and stuff. But the internet gives you like anonymity, kind of where you could say all those crazy things that you're thinking, and yeah. then like it's okay. <laughs> it's, a, it's a safe haven for shy people to so say then, like, what all they those want. Fucked up things that we think in our head, we say them out loud, and they're funny, and we make yeah. pictures with. <laughs> well, it, I think I think in a sense the internet is just a confirmation, not in, in, at large, but like other dealing with other people. It's a confirmation that you're not fucking crazy, because you'd be thinking like, "Yo, that's hilarious." Tell me I'm not the only one that thinks this is fucking funny, or this is stupid, or this is ironic, or this is, you know what I mean? Yeah, for and, sure. And and you start to realize that like before you wouldn't, you would have maybe your circle of friends. You'd be like, "Yo, people I know, oh, he's funny. He should be doing this, or he's funny. I think he could do that." Now you start realizing that a lot of your shy friends were hilarious. They just didn't <laughs> fucking have the courage to say really what was on their fucking brain. You know exactly. what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. So shout out to the internet. You know, we shout out to the funny people. Shout out, shout out to Big shout out to the funny people yep. out there. You know what I mean? Big shout make... out to the people making memes. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> shout out to the meme plug. Whoever to the you meme are. makers. Whoever the meme god is. Shout out to you. So how was your week so far? Oh, my week was really just uh, out of this world. Honestly, I told you I started that new uh, nannying job, and so I'm kind of like right back to where my heart was initially, what I went to school for, and all that. That's so dope. that's dope. Um, it was really great to be around the kids again, and then like I went camping too this weekend. I was like out in the woods. I woke up underneath the trees today like can you believe it that's what i did that's dope that's dope i ain't it's been a while since i well you know it's been a while since i could say i did that but um <laughs> yeah no that's dope you went camping where y'all go camping at uh what is that place called lake comanche oh yeah that's i've never been there before so to like this past weekend was my first time going yeah. i was really impressed i like would, would probably check it out again even like it was really cool it was so cool and it was uh my like my boy is the first time camping he, you know he's a year old or so so mm. He 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 did amazing. He went to sleep like right on time and he wasn't stuff. Tripping. And I got to, you know, drink all the beers and stuff yeah. and You got to have fun too. The yeah, got exactly. To have fun. The hard. kids got to have fun and I got to have fun and That's memories right there. It really is. I can't ask for anything more. Like now now I, I got a question for you because we actually brought this up in conversation the other day when it came about camping and shit. Mm -hmm. My friend had recently went to uh Hawaii. Mm hmm and he said it was cool, but at nighttime when they, when everything was still mm -hmm. and they were laying down, it felt like they were floating. Like they were floating? Yes. And I told him, and he's like, am I tripping? I'm like, no, bro. I was like, because I've been to Lake Berryessa before. Uh -huh. And we camped by Lake Berryessa, and I promise you, at nighttime, <laughs> the faint, the same sensation. And I wasn't drunk. I, at the time, I was hey, a kid. aren't we floating, though, anyway? We're, we're, like... we're floating. We're <laughs> hurling through space and time. Well, it depends on who you ask, though, too. Because some people, are, they'll tell you we all, we're, 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 nah, we're, this is we're a rock, the bro. earth is flat. <laughs> There's nothing out there. Yeah. So... It we're not in that room though. We're in the room where we believe that it's round and that we're we're just a rock floating that, through the space, we're, man. We're, we're, what's that? We're <laughs> we're a pile of we're a pile of meat clinging to a rock hurling through space. Ooh, I like where this is going. You know what I'm saying? That's what I Pile like. of meat? Hey, hey. Literally, hey. I don't think... No, I forgot what it said. It's something like you're literally a shell, a, 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 a shell of skin and bones uh, sitting on a rock hurling through space okay. like so there's no sounds the, just the gist, nasty enough yeah, I mean, you, can take it, you can take that wherever you need to take it you know what i'm saying that's the that's the good thing it's your interpretation at this point but um nah that's that's the um that's the the, the idea i guess the whole gist of it once again shout out to the memes because this is where i've seen it right? you know what I'm saying? so it, it, once again it, whether it's science or perspective it just sounded really cool like so 
Um, they were saying, yeah. So uh, the the idea behind the meme was like, don't waste waste your life. You know, don't mm. be scared of nothing. Like you're mm-hmm. already a fucking sack of meat clinging to a rock, <laughs> swirling through space. Like what else could happen? <laughs> exactly. Shoot your shot. Why? Why? You know what I'm saying? Why? Why? Go out there and take that step and be a porn star if that's what you feel in your heart or whatever the case might be. No, really though, to like lead your life like living your heart's truth is like so fucking amazing like a lot of people don't do it. a lot of people live life by other people's expectations don't you think yeah and we're not like not aware because i like to think that i'm living a true life but like i feel like a lot of people like will kind of like kind of like live their life being like hey do you see that like do you think that i'm doing good like is this what i should be doing you know yeah, yeah. look at me to look themselves. at me look at me yeah instead of like listening to themselves like yeah this is what i should be doing you know like yeah. i don't know that's Sideways. I think I think no no I, I get it I totally get where you're you going know? with that and a lot of times because of that people it's because they seek approval of others yeah, you know what I'm saying so totally so and 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 we're all guilty of it at one point or another for sure you know in we one have aspect been. or another right uh, I think once you once you I'm a, I, I hate to say this but it's once you grow up you know what I'm saying mm-hmm. and yeah yeah you realize that um you know what's perspective what's priority was you know what's best and you kind of stop thinking like that you know you know what yeah. I mean because it's like if you live your life trying to impress everybody there's there's not enough and, and if you don't have no proof for that look at the internet yeah you could do the best very best of anything put it out there and people will still shit on it yeah i wasn't <laughs> patty just uh sent a video actually um where cardi b was saying something similar mm-hmm. where she was saying you know like about the drake album like it's only been out for a minute or whatever and everybody's already talking this way or that way about it and that just goes to other kind of things in life too that like i don't know you just got to give it some time and whatever. Well, I think I think it's just it's it's just the also it's it's just the culture now. You know what I mean? You understand the culture. Uh, I don't think we've ever had anything like the social media experience just get dropped on on us like this. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. everybody learning. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Everybody learning how to function on it. To me, it just kills me when when that's the case. Like um, the people do it just to try to keep up. You know, it's like, do it for yourself. Now, if you're proud of what you're doing, hey, more power to you. Post yeah, it, yeah. whatever, inspire yeah. people because it, 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 to a hater, it's going to look like like bullshit. But to mm-hmm. a, somebody that, that that's happy for you or somebody that, yeah. um, that that's not a hater, they're going to be like, yo, that's inspiring. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, for that's, sure. That's I what, feel that. It's just your, I think it's all about intention. What's what's people's intent? You know what I mean? Or is your intent to do it because it's going to make you feel better? It, um, and like stroke your ego or is it your intense like it's going to make you feel good to show your accomplishments because it could help somebody you do know what I'm saying maybe inspire somebody Insi- inspire like, somebody like I'm, I'm not, not doing, just doing this it to stunt you know I'm not doing this because I want to you know this that and the other it's like okay bro recognition Every, you know what I mean it's like no it's cool to have recognition what I mean is like some people they do it for the wrong reasons. You do know what I'm saying? It's Definitely. like, what, what is your, where's your heart at? Is you doing mm-hmm. this to inspire people? Is this do, are you doing this to, um, to motivate? You know, uh, it, uh, it's, it's good to show your accomplishments and when you do stuff like that though, but you know, um, you know, it, it, it used to be this old rapper meme too. Shout out to the memes again, where they were talking about, it's like, how it's like, it's crazy that motherfuckers be broke, starving to get rich. Talk shit about rich motherfuckers, get rich, and then make rap songs about <laughs> being broke. <laughs> Fuck all these broke motherfuckers. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's crazy, right? Mm-hmm. And that's kind of the mentality. It's like, which what you really doing it for? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's like, do exactly. this shit because it's, it's what you believe in your soul. If I feel like when you move like that, then you really can't move wrong. You know what I'm saying? We're, all, we're not all perfect. We're all going to make mistakes. That's, that's for sure. That's that's a fact. It's given. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? The odds alone, if you're a science person, <laughs> that right there should tell you. You know what I mean? I'm, but um, no, I mean that's you know, that's that's the new modern age. We got um, uh, everybody got an audience now. Yeah, so for some sure. People, you ever you remember back in the day those people that didn't know how to act when it, in front of other people? They would always do the most when it was like a crowd or somebody around them. Like, you know what I'm saying? I know what you're talking about. Just try to like show out for no reason. Like, it would remind me of um, that one uh, Saturday night skate where he'd be like, look what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, speaking you know? of... <laughs> Speaking of memes, nah, but go ahead. But yeah. <laughs> That's what it reminds me of, you know, like that that one kid that would just be like, look what I do. Like, look no matter what it is, yeah, and it's just like, it's right here. <laughs> No, yeah, um, definitely, and that's that's kind of what the internet is now. You know, what I mean, it gives um, anybody uh, that, that feels that way an uh, opportunity to be seen and heard. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I, I trip, I just trip out sometimes with the things that people post. Yeah. It's like, yo, this shit is not everyone's business, yo. Yeah, like, I don't, sure. don't like, want to see your like 
passed away family. Like, please. I don't, like, I, don't I really don't that. want to at all. Like, I can appreciate that you. This is important to you, but like me, <laughs> like. Like in the casket, right? Like I just yeah. feel like that's really intimate. Like there's some parts of your life I feel like that are just too intimate. You know yeah. what I mean? That you it's don't not need for everybody. to. Yeah. It doesn't belong to everybody. I feel guilty though sometimes because I post a lot. I love posting a lot because I feel like um, I like for my family to see my uh, my children and like stuff like that. Or like I like to post a lot like that, but I don't like to post like real intimate details you know of, like no i get what you're saying you know what i mean yeah. but like i definitely <laughs> feel sometimes like esther maybe you're oversharing and i'm like girl head go ahead post that shit <laughs> hey. well you know that's the thing but see, there's, there's a difference like I, I just mean like personal shit to like yeah. like you said like stuff like that like your family passing and your granny i'm pretty sure did not post for that picture that she, she's in the hospital bed and like don't do me like that i'm on record right now my, my children everybody i love y'all unless you hate me you listen so look, teen so, so so look so like in about me you know, whenever my time comes when i'm old yep. and great because well, i'm doing this i'm i'm, I'm, I'm thinking positive when i'm old and great yes. fuck, 90 years old 100 years old whatever i'm on my deathbed if you see a picture of me on the internet, like like how we're talking about right now, that's how you know my kids hate me. Because I'm I'm gonna am gonna make sure I tell them like I, I already told my son. It's gonna be in the clause. Yeah, <laughs> it's got something. It's gonna be no inheritance. Yeah, let a picture pop up. That yeah, let a picture. picture pop- <laughs> you ain't getting shit. They're gonna have my they're gonna have my hospital hospital room like a fuck like the club and shit. Like hold on, <laughs> security you know, at the yeah, door checking. No, no, no cell phones in here. It's like a comedy show and shit. Yeah, like a comedy. Yeah. <laughs> Put your phone in the bag. Put your phone in the bag. <laughs> Put it in the locker for you going here. You got me fucked. No, nah, because. And look, I'm not trying to, I'm not talking shit about nobody, but it, it's just, it's just, you know, whatever, what, like I said, that's the thing though too. You're free to do whatever you want mm-hmm. to, but preferably me, I don't want that. I don't want to see that because it's, it's, that's like, like you said, it's intimate. That's your family. That's mm-hmm. your loved ones. That's like, a moment. Just like also like if you're in a toxic relationship and you guys break up all the time, don't go on there talking shit about the person that you still obviously in love <laughs> with and you're going to get right back together with that person. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Don't do that. Like. That's some bullshit. You feel mm-hmm. me? Like, stop that. You know what I mean? I don't want to see that. You know? Shout out to my girls, though, because I've seen you guys are doing better. I've seen that you guys haven't been, uh, you know, sending them links. So good job, you guys. Who? My friends. I got a couple friends that we, not we, but, we, you know, there's accountability, okay? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so you guys, oh, hold on. What are you doing with that? Like, what's wrong with you? Like, yeah, you have to step in and tell them something, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's essay. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Hey, you know what? That's that's the thing, though. That's where you have a real friend. You know what I mean? No, because yeah, because like you said, it's toxic. You know, and like, why keep on going back? Like, if you want somebody to hurt you? Like, come over here, baby. I got you. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, what kind of hurt do you want? Like, what do you want to hurt? Like, you know, you what know? What I'm saying? So, like, yeah. But I mean, look, I'm gonna keep it funky with you. I was in, I was in a toxic relationship, so. You know, I, I, I sometimes when you're in the eye of the storm, you don't know nothing else. All yeah, you can see is yeah, what's swirling yeah. in front of you, and that's it. Yeah, but, um, for sure, for but, sure. I mean, and that's why I give my my shout out, you know, and the big high fives to yeah. you know those people. Because but even then, you never knew anything that I was going through on the fucking internet. Period. I, I could have been, and I say it all the time. It's because people don't care about you, and if you care that much about what people think by showing, want to tell mm-hmm. your business, you're gonna die by that too. And what I mean is, you live by it, you're gonna die by it. You're gonna you you're gonna every negative comment every this every that you're gonna feel like everyone's talking about you you're gonna feel like you know what I mean yeah if you subscribe to that whole subliminal shit and all no, that you're you gonna think it, everybody's like... talking about you you're just gonna it's, it's not even no point you mm-hmm. know you gotta you you know I, that's why I tell people it's like it's, it, and that's part of mental health like like your mental health is so important I feel like like mental health. And, it, and like social media is not your mental health like that no. right there is gonna hurt you yeah. it's not gonna help you like so it's, it's everybody's highlight reel you know what I mean you don't see uh, it's rare that you see people post up the hard the, the hard shit but even then that's too it's too much it's too intimate like when you're going through hard times you don't need to share it with everybody. What you need is to look into yourself and share with yourself what you're trying to so do. So I like. have a screenshot this morning yeah. from one of my memories on Facebook because mm-hmm. um, that's one of my things that I love is my Facebook memories. And it was saying how I had woke up this morning one year ago and I was like having such a hard morning and that I was like so upset and that I yelled at my daughter and that I felt so bad for yelling at her. But then like I ended up like uh, coming back later 
and like talking to her and like apologizing and just like kind of like explaining to her how I was like having a moment or whatever. And I felt like I shared that personal moment um, in, in hopes that it would help the next mom. You know what yeah. I mean? Because like we all fall short, right? Where we're going to like yell at our children something, you know? And like that was like a hard day for me. Like a year ago today was a hard day for me apparently. And like, so I don't know. I think that it's good kind of it's like to post it, but only if it's with the good intentions like or with the right intentions like how you mentioned, you know? Like, well, yeah. I mean, if I'm doing it just to spew hate like and, and to make somebody else pissed off because I was yeah. pissed off a year ago, yeah, that yeah, would yeah. not be okay. Yeah. That, and and, it's, and then the reason why I said it, it's not a, it's, it's a, first of all, it's not a healthy behavior, but it's like yeah. it doesn't help the person doing it. It don't help you by doing that. That that what you're doing is not making you better. You know what I'm saying? You gotta you gotta kind of li- live beyond that, and it, it is uh, social media is a big thing on people's mental health now because now mm. also also let's keep it funky, right? Before social media, you couldn't tell like what acquaintances and the average person was really f- feeling or thinking. Yeah. Now it depended on the kind of the kind of uh, activity they do on the social media. They could be thinking you could know exactly what they're thinking because they tell you all their business you know oh, what I'm saying you can know what so they had for lunch yeah like, you, <laughs> you can know what they had for lunch you can know what they're wearing for the day yeah where you they've know, been to where, where they checked where in they to you, you know? know what I'm saying all kinds Fucking of shit weird oh shit if you really yeah. want it to no. yeah. well no shit that's why the internet is, is it's weird there's it, so much like I don't know it's because see the thing is once again we're in that we're in that generation where we grew up without it and now we have it. Yeah. They were saying, so we're living through it. So it's it's mm-hmm. weird to watch it. You know what I mean? While some people, that's all they know. And that's the thing that worries me too. It's like, yo, young cats got to make sure that y'all do a lot better about your internet behaviors mm-hmm. because it can and will be used against you. They're actually, we're just, I was just reading an article about that. That's right. Um, and even there's this lady that I follow on, on Instagram. Uh, she's a lawyer and she addresses stuff like this. You know, she's talking, she talks about like, you know, people uh, now nowadays, you know, on viral videos toting weapons, and you know what I'm saying. That's like people gotta gotta be really careful about what they post, even if they don't mean nothing bad about it. Even if, because anything could be used against you, they could they want they're gonna try to paint you as a bad person mm-hmm. eventually if they try to get you with something. So if all you have is negativity shown out there on your social media print, even now, like New York, that's what I was trying to get at. New York now wants to see. At least uh, uh, one of your top three um, social media accounts or more before you could get a gun. What? Yes. What? No. Yes. Before you could get a gun, they want to. They want to see. They. You don't have to like your DMs. They want to. They want to know what account you have, and they want to look through your shit. They want to look through your posts. Wow. You do know what I'm saying? Wow. I don't know if that's okay. That's not okay because I feel like that's invading your privacy, kind of. Yeah. Like, I I thought so too. But that's like, either what I'm you're gonna give me a gun or you're not, right? Yeah. Like what? But I guess also too, what if there's like some real fucking racist terrorist shit inside? Well, that's why I can't. You know I, I, mean? I, I can't. Look, affiliated. I'll tell you why I agree with it and why I don't. I, I, I think like I don't I don't think that's good because um, you know that's like an invasion of privacy yeah. like I said almost it feels like an invasion of rights actually you know what mm-hmm. I mean at the same time everybody got to know these are public platforms yeah right so they whatever Off you top. do on there it's whatever they could do whatever they want to with it basically at the end that's of the true. day so um, that's why I tell people be wise what you're doing you know what I'm saying be wise what you're doing don't be doing mm-hmm. stupid shit on there and understand that um, but also at the same time it's like the reason why they're doing it also is because these mass shootings, a lot of them were on their social media talking about it, you know, and I, I don't want to get into all that because, you know, it, that shit right there is a whole fucking different can of worms that I'm That's just not even ready can. to, you want to talk about, I'm sure y'all hear enough of that, we want, we, we brought you here, we are gathered here today to make sure that we do not talk, um, about shit that you already hear, you hear it all the time, you watch the news, you see social media posts, we in here, we trying to be ourselves, Give you our perspective on some shit, but what we're not trying to do is is, is add to the bullshit. Uh, you know the uh, it's, it's all hysteria, sensationalizing. That's exactly what it is. It's hysteria. Hype. The hype for sure. Getting looked at right now. Don't talk. Don't look at me like that. Like you crazy. <laughs> Anyways, so no invite podcast episode ninety five. We in the building. Um, <laughs> how, oh yeah, look. So I wanted to talk to you. Like, have you noticed anything different? lately since Monday around you in general in life period like something that just hasn't been um, since hasn't Monday been, like this past Monday this since, past Monday um, July 4th uh, I think well yeah no, the or fifth. excuse me whatever okay. yeah excuse me so we'll yeah. say Tuesday Tuesday has, has anything been different in your normal routine have you felt anything different has people been different or anything like that you know <laughs> what I'm saying any logos changing or anything <laughs> anything different 
Um, no, I can't think of anything. But you make me really want to think hard. I don't know. No. Nothing that would probably, you would no, say, stands not, not out, today, right? Not today, huh? Right? So, look, you know, um, you know, um, I was watching, I was reading an article. Uh, well, it's been leading up. A lot of people have been posting about it, and it was actually on a couple of uh, bigger um, media outlets, and they were talking about this Hadron Collider or whatever the fuck it is. And I know I told you earlier, you looked at me like, what the fuck is he talking about? Like, what is I that? thought it was like another strain of <laughs> like talking, COVID or something. Oh, like, that is oh. the strain. Not, we just invented that right now. Not to be used without <laughs> specific intent. You know what I'm saying? You know, by podcast, I'll commission LLC. <laughs> All right, so, like, what um, the fuck did you say? <laughs> <laughs> but nah, so look. Okay, so look, because I'm, I'm an observer like to me. As much as I talk shit about social media and all that, I'm also a, a partaker. I'm not mm-hmm. gonna lie, act like I'm be on it. And it to me, it's because it's it's like TV now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Only yeah. difference is, is that it's not a big budget all the time. And what mm-hmm. you watch, sometimes there's a budget, and sometimes it's just <laughs> stupid people yeah. doing stupid. Shit. <laughs> all right, so fucking my computer robbed me right now, right? Yeah, she's doing you dirty. She did me dirty. So uh, <laughs> uh, pardon us. We had some technical difficulties, but we back. Um, but we were talking about things and talk about me and my cult leader habits. You know what I mean? Because we, I, I posted that meme up too long, too long ago and I got to know my following a little better and to see which ones are murderers and which ones are fucking, you know what I'm saying, scammers and shit. But um, this cult leader over here has yeah, I, his I, I um, have, whole collection. Yeah, I have my whole, I, 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 have, I have my whole collection. So what would this be in the corner over here? Would this be like? Um, she was. I got this computer right when. Um, when I first started going to school, because we were talking about it, that's why mm-hmm. I wanted to, I wanted to put it on the podcast. We were talking <laughs> off camera how, how my computer did me dirty and shit, but we're not gonna get on her about that because she's she's old faithful, you know what I'm saying? She's been holding it down, but I got the upgrade sitting right there next to her, so she's making fun of me like I'm I just got a line. I recently how guys can't get rid of shit. Like mm. you are so possessive. Like when you hold on to something, it is yours. It is. It's, she's mine. She is. <laughs> can't nobody tell me that. Right? Anyway, so look. Um. So I got that one when I first got my school money. When okay. I went back to school, remember how okay, you said yeah. you seen me in, in mm-hmm. LMC? I, I I I came home from prison in 2012. I'm like, yo, I'm going back to school. I need to uh, I need to learn how to do things for myself. I, I got to stop relying on other people yeah. to record me and to oh, this okay. and all that other shit because I didn't. Let's keep it funky, y'all. I didn't go to. I didn't. It's not like I went to, to college, community college and and I got a degree. I didn't do that. I went there just to learn. <laughs> I'm not even going to say a trade so much. It's just a skill. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or whatever. I mean, whatever the case is. But, um, you know, I got my little grants and everything. And they paid. Sure. And I did do general education, too, by the way. So I, I've had my GD for a little while. Since I, I got it when I was, you know what I'm saying, on a vacation. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, it, 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 you know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, that was the first thing I bought was, was that one. I bought that one first. I bought my my um, my red... Uh, Interface like the one that you got. You, know, you tell me I got the little red box too. <laughs> yeah, I got I got the focus right interface. I got um, a, not this microphone, but one just like it. That, uh-huh. that one I actually gave it to my brother. I got a microphone and um, mic stand. You know, it's my first studio, so I, I put Pro Tools on it, which is the program that we were mm-hmm. studying with in school. So this was kind of like my school laptop. And then somebody um, told me that they had a laptop for sale. And I went and got this one. Oh. And when I got this one, it obviously was different. This one was the one that for me that was more, um, just more of a, like a Swiss army knife. You dig what I'm saying? It could do a lot more everything. different shit. So this, this one right here, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's rubbing it, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> this, I'm checking the mouse to make sure, you know what I'm saying? Make sure she don't cut out like she did yeah, last time. Yeah, last time, she, like I said, no, this really. Bro, so that's shame. How we got on this whole shit, yeah. <laughs> we got like, some pretty quality shit out there, too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, come yeah. to find no, <laughs> Hey, well, you know. you know. It's okay. Saying. That wasn't for everybody anyways, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's all right, though. You know what? Because you can say what you want, but the podcast been <laughs> Sounding good, hasn't it? Off this bitch, but um, <laughs> no. So uh, that's how we got to our whole conversation, y'all. I apologize, we took y'all on a tangent with us, but that's what we we're talking about. Because I got my, uh, she was asking me why the computer crashed, and I'm like, yo, this bitch been acting up because she's old as fuck. But uh, I love her though, and I'm never, got never gonna give you up. Huh? Ooh, I said you got the next one in training. The next one's right there. We got the second string. You know what I mean? It's ready to take off. You know they've been in, in play already, <laughs> just as capable. Only difference is that the second string's not portable. So she's in the house. She's for the house. For this the one right here is for the streets. <laughs> <laughs> like you when you first bought it. No. 
like me, like when I found her. Yeah. I was in her first owner, so don't get it fucked up. She's definitely for the streets. That's what, this one, I'm her first owner. <laughs> this one, I oh bought her. God. I bought her. I, just, I know her. You're you breaking did. her in real yeah. gentle. <laughs> that sounds so terrible. That's it horrible. is terrible. <laughs> You're talking about computers, y'all. And that's it. That's it. Exactly. That's it. But yeah, you know what I'm saying? Um, the workhorse. Uh, it's not only that, though. Like, the thing about it is I got so much shit in there. Like, the new one, when you got a new computer, you have nothing on there. You don't have no files mm -hmm. on there. You have I got all my editing shit, all my software, all my files. So you'll files. have to move it over? I, I, I wouldn't even have to do that. I literally have to start brand new on this. Start a new file. So what I would do is I would back up my computer, save all that data for if I need it for whatever. Mm -hmm. But And then also at the same time, like... You know, just transfer files, you know what I'm saying? I'll transfer the file for this to for my editing for the podcast and shit like that. So, you know what I mean? That's that's all it is, you know. But uh it, I can't believe they fucked me up. We was talking about some gold right there for a minute. But that's no by podcast. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take a motherfucking break real quick, you know what I mean, and get another beer and we'll be back. <laughs> No Invite Podcast, we're back. Hopefully, we're back and consistent, you know what I mean? Because old Betty over here, you know what I mean? She's been she's been uh, going through a lot, but uh, it's my computer, by the way. But um, yeah, we're back. Um, if you had to name her, would that be her name? No, I don't know. I don't I don't I don't really look at it like that. It's just a computer at the end of the day. This is just something that we just talking about yeah, and we just ran so, with it. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I don't really look at it like that because this one even like even my computer, we're talking about that, I'm about to give that one away to somebody as a gift. So like oh, that, sure. Oh, like, yeah, sure. Yeah. She's out the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Keep all okay, my exes okay, no in the name, same whatever, house. No and name, shit. I'm no scumbag. names. I'm a, I'm a scumbag. I'm a, babe. I, I live I live with all my exes. <laughs> That's, that sounds like a hot scenario. Actually. That sounds like a, yeah, that sounds pretty. That sounds pretty cool. But uh, it's just my computers, though. Unfortunately. Yeah, that's yeah, fun but, too, um, though. They bring, <laughs> bring you lots of uh, you know entertainment like this. Yeah, I mean, shit. That's the that's the the, the whole thing. That's what we was here here for. We are we are gathered here today once again <laughs> to make sure that we keep this podcast shit going. Episode ninety five. Uh, we are here. Um, and we we're talking about what, what we were just talking about right now before the before the uh, what's it called? Keep, oh, you know what? You and your podcast. Yeah. And and your podcast ambitions, right? Yeah, big time. I told you earlier how you know my husband and I had recorded um, just not even a whole episode. It was probably like fifteen minutes of like us just kind of, and it was good. There were some good parts of it, but then there were some things that like you know we could work on as well, and mm -hmm. and. Um, I don't know. I'm just really kind of looking forward to doing that, like, and getting it started and just kind of just recording, you know, like we've kind of decided that we would just go downstairs like every now and again, because in, in the basement <laughs> is, <Nice>. where, <laughs> is where we're going to do it. And then like, um, just every now and again, when we got time, you know, just record something and make it so it's not, doesn't have to be current, you know, like how some podcasts are current with the time or whatever, or some of them are recorded beforehand as a bunch and then released all, all yeah, yeah. Want, or something, you know, as so, a series or something. Yeah. Something like that. So there's different ideas we got floating around, but I really can't come up with a name. I can't think of a name at all. <laughs> you know what? You just got to, yeah. You know what it is? Is that, is that I'm sure you've had maybe some ideas. You just got to write them down. And then once you, cause I'm a visual person, like, yeah. and that's the same thing with me. I'll, I'll come up with a name, but then I'll come up with a few names. Then I'll write them down and I'll look at them. You know what I mean? Mm. Does it look right? Does it sound right to me? You know, because I see it, here you got all your yeah, I'm a very, I, you got my, I got my weirdo manifesto on Can the I wall and shit. Can I All I need is a little fucking tax with the string stuck to him. You yeah. know, what I'm you ever you seen that meme from dude from uh, Def in the, the office? Yeah, the office. Yeah, like he's like and this goes to this, like explaining yeah. things. Yeah, basically that's that's, that's what that's, I should do with what I because you're right. I do have a couple of thoughts floating around. Maybe I should just write them down and um, just keep adding to the list. Yeah, you ain't got to pick right now. It's just it's just a list. It's a thought. You know, you. It may, it may not you may not feel it now <laughs> but you might see it later and be like you know yeah. what this makes sense yeah i tell people all the time man write down your ideas like even if you're not a, a creator or creative or something write down your idea you never know it might help you later on figure something else out that you're trying to do you dig what i'm saying yeah and uh as, as far as creators go i tell them write your ideas down because a lot of times people sit down they have they be on a roll it's just this whatever you call it the spirits in you or whatever but you're in you're in your mode and you start creating and thinking of a lot of dope ideas well those are seeds you know after that you got to nurture that and you could probably possibly 
turn it into something else. Yeah. Now, same thing with you right now. That's what you're doing. You're 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 you're, you're gathering your seeds right now. <laughs> <laughs> but but you're getting ready though because you're taking the steps I'm gathering now. Gathering my nuts for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. no. But you did what I'm saying though. Like so you yeah. you 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 gather you gathering yourself together. You're getting ready right now by being not only on this podcast. Mm. You've been on other mm-hmm. podcasts, which is good because to to if I could you know give you any tips, it's just to, to get as much mic time as possible. Mm-hmm. because if, if for you as well as for 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 your husband you know what i'm saying make sure that you guys do that because once you're comfortable and not so much worried that the mic is there you could actually be yourself and really address whatever you're talking mm-hmm. about and, and, and give i it thought the it best was cute he answer. said he was nervous a little bit and it was just him and i recording and i was like oh yeah you're nervous yeah, <laughs> yeah. he got to see another side of him you're like okay <laughs> I was like, I like this. Let me make you more nervous. He's trying like, to make him feel uncomfortable. That's right. <laughs> no, it was, it was pretty cool though. Like, um, cause I did feel co- more comfortable behind the mic. Like when it was him and I, you know, like yeah. it was no big thing. I'm like, yeah, let's fucking do this. Like, no, I see you as the lead for sure. Like it's cause somebody, I, I, when I see y'all like, and I see the podcast and what you're trying to do, I feel like I very feel much. And I've told you before, like you're the centerpiece, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody that comes on there, um, is like coexist with you, you know what I mean? But you're gonna be the one. <laughs> Don't that... stroke my ego too no, much. No, it's because I, <laughs> no. but I tell people, tell me I wasn't telling you this before. I was like, yeah, you'd be yeah. dope doing a podcast mm-hmm, because you're mm-hmm. comfortable. I, I heard you on a few already from other people yeah. being guests on other people's stuff. So I was like, I already told. I was like, you got this. You're gonna be the driving force. You dig what I'm saying? When it comes to that, yeah. And um, like yeah, just get mic time. Get mic yeah, time. Get, get him. Time. Get him as comfortable as you are. You guys will have a dope ass podcast. And, uh, I'm gonna have to take notes when I'm re-listening to this later. Yeah, <laughs> I don't yeah. have my notebook right now, but I'm gonna you, you got the best notebook ever, though. You're actually doing it. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're actually doing so. What you learn here and what you've learned on being on other stuff, you could always apply it in your own way to what mm-hmm. you got going on. You know what I mean? And and, and, in, and in turn, you're helping him because he doesn't have a lot of mic time. Mm-hmm. He's gonna he's gonna sit here with you and be like, okay, see your comfort level. His comfort level is gonna get get there, mm-hmm. and then you that's when you'll get the best shit mm-hmm. because. Um, Doing this over the years and having guests where I interview them on the spot. It's like it's when you're a guest and I'm interviewing you, it's a little different. You're on the you're like on the spot. So uh-huh. it kinda I could tell why some people they don't carry <laughs> the conversation well. You know what I'm saying? They're just answering questions. And then other people like Anne, if we listen to Anne's first episode, if you go back in this season and we listen to her first episode compared to now, Anne is stupid grown in what mm-hmm. she's doing because she's never did podcasts before, you mm-hmm. know. And I always tell people you gotta get to the point where you just act like the mic's not even there you know remember obviously that you're <laughs> that you're in the fucking in the moment don't say some shit that you don't want out there but i'm saying it's like you know totally. once you're not aware of that because sometimes people be too aware it's there and then they can't be themselves yeah. they can't speak because they're i don't know i guess you like i said you put them on the spot mm-hmm. you know what i mean but uh that's dope do do whatever um do whatever fits y'all you yeah, know what i mean that's really the best thing because i already know it. you're too your your angle on the podcast game is going to be different than yeah. what I'm doing. Like, you're going to yeah. be on your own shit. Like, you know what I mean? So, Esther got yeah, some shit well, to say. Yeah, well, you know how I'll... <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> it just happens. <laughs> no, nah, but that's good, though. Because, yeah. it, like we were just saying, it's like when you decide to do it, for yourself it's different than when you're like on some on a different yeah. podcast because whether you're a team member or, or, or a guest mm-hmm. you know you got to fit within that dynamic mm-hmm. but when you're you're the creator you're the yeah. actual one then you can make the podcast that you would really like that's so true and in turn hopefully a lot which i know there is going to be a lot of people out there that feel the same way that's the dope shit about having this shit mm-hmm. that's the dope shit about having people check in and download your episodes and when mm-hmm. you look at your shit you're like oh these people fuck with it because mm. you know it's it's authentic yeah uh, everything on tv now is all polished up it's you know you can't say this you can't say that you're so right actually i never really people thought of want it that authenticity way. nowadays mm-hmm. that's why podcasts are coming back in the in the, uh well not coming back but just audio like this is coming back in a major way because you know once the tv was out everything had to be tv i remember when i was little i remember you know when i was little when everything was in black and white 
fucking um, <laughs> you're that old no I'm not that <laughs> fucking old I'm not that old but when I, anybody says something like that that's all I picture in my head it's like yeah this the whole the whole screen goes in black and white like yo okay we're going way back like let me get my time machine how did you used to get to school too did you used to walk uh, we a mile to, we, hey these kids you know what it's crazy because it'll sound far fetched to these kids of this generation and shit mm -hmm. but to kids for our generation that shit wasn't nothing I, I, I promise you yeah. I promise you I had to be at least like third fourth grade i was walking far mm -hmm. to school by myself yeah by myself on everything like i, I remember <laughs> that shit so you know but i mean and i sound just like how you sound, <laughs> I sound like the stereotype right I'm, I'm grateful that at least i had all my siblings with me i was the youngest so they always walked me to school you know it, we were it's because i had i had i had siblings that were in high school junior high and i was in elementary at the time and i at the time it was a brief period like i said because uh, like two years because my little sisters weren't in my school yet. You know what I'm saying? And of course, they're going to get rides still like in the morning. You know what I mean? Your boy had to... But that's what I was telling you. That was back in the day when I had my little Walkman and shit. I thought I was tight. You feel me? See me under the fucking maple tree and I'll fucking freestyle battle you and shit. You feel me? Where it all began. That's where it all began. Should we hey. tell them? Should we? Should we? I think I, I think I said it before. Yeah. I think I said it before on the podcast. Yeah. Like we we're talking about this off uh, for for everyone listening. We we're talking about this off um, off mic. Off mic. We we're just talking. What were we saying? We we're talking about. I had back asked you. I said, um, that "Why did you want to start rapping? Like, what was what inspired you to want to do that? You know? Oh What's yeah, your story. Because, because we we're talking about. Because we we're talking about people. Uh, like I was telling interviews. her interviews. Yeah, because once again we were talking about the podcast, and she was telling me how she was developing hers, and um, yeah, it was like, you know. You got to have, like, you know, you got to have people that could carry the conversation mm -hmm. and talk. Da, 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 da. And then, you know, like, that's how I brought it up. I was like, yeah, because I've interviewed people like, you know, it's like, why'd you want to start rapping? And they were like, I just woke up one day and I decided I'm going to rap. And that's how I started doing it. I that. listened to one Biggie song and I and knew I was, that I was destined. That's it. Yeah, I grabbed my nuts and I was like, the door, <laughs> like what's happening? I'm the so. greatest ever. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I, no, and, 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 and that's hard when you're trying to carry on a conversation. It's like when I interview people, they just give you, tell me like, come on, bro. Like, what made you want to do it? Did, did, did you hear somebody rapping or some gangster shit happen or whatever the fucking case might be? Or did yeah. you, was you on your... You know, were you on? What, what were you on? You know what I mean? You didn't just wake up like I'm gonna be a rapper and that's it. And I knew how to rap to this day. Like today, it's like give me, you know, it's all about carrying the conversation and shit. Yeah, so, for um, sure. We we're talking about developing the podcast. We we're talking about that off camera, uh, off mic, and everything else. And um, I was telling her, you know, just what the fuck we were saying about about uh, the carrying it, like the person you talk to. You got you guys got to work on making sure that you keep the conversation going and, and keep then, it alive. Yeah, and then, and then I asked him. And then you were like, it all started when I was... And it was all started when... It was all a dream. <laughs> you know what I'm like my, when I first heard... Nah. But no, yeah, that, and that's how it started. We started talking about that and talking about back in the yeah. day. And I was talking about how I used to... When, I, when, when somebody asked me that, you know, you give them some context of which why you know what i mean for me it was like when i was young i i was one of the lucky kids that got to listen to whatever the fuck i want because you know some people's parents were more you know trying to uh you know what are you listening to like it was different monitor, you them, monitor. Maybe, or... yeah and that's cool but like it was just rap music to me it wasn't mm -hmm. it wasn't like it didn't make rap never made me feel like i gotta go do something i'm not supposed to be doing i was but like it, I, it I, wasn't the rap huh no nah, it was just me <laughs> i wanted to do that like you, you i didn't need rap to go get on get on my shit you know what i'm saying like <laughs> I would just do go what and do I it. did. I just I, I did it. You know what I'm saying? So, but uh, yeah, like so. You know what I mean? That's that's kind of what inspired me when I was young. It's like I I I got to listen to music and I, it just let me be creative. And I would uh, this is like elementary, probably third, fourth grade, fourth, fifth grade, something like that. I used to battle my friend. He we used to come to school and we'd meet up at lunch, and uh, we wouldn't um, we wouldn't battle like our own lyrics. What we would do is. Uh, we would pick the songs since we were, he was like me. He got to listen to whatever he wanted to mm -hmm. from rap tapes that we had. And we'd spit the the verse. Who, No matter whose verse it was, we'd be like, look, oh, you ever heard this song? Da -da -da -da. Yeah, we'd and then you guys would finish them off. But we'd spit it like we we're, you know, nah, I don't know what. Like if, like if one person started and then the other person would keep on going with the rest of the rap song? Yeah, no, no. It was more like... It was a battle though. It was a battle okay. because we were trying to see like, yo, he would he would talk about his favorite rapper and he'd spit one of his verses, and then I'd talk about my favorite rapper and I spit one of his verses, and then like the kids around would be like, y'all pick which one was better, which verse was better, but we're the fucking ones rapping it. You do know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah. and we were rapping it like we thought we was really so them like and a, shit. 
it was like a cover. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in a sense. So yeah, it was like it was a rap battle, but we were using their That's lyrics. Cool. But we we're we we're trying, you know, because the Respect. other kids didn't get to listen to the music that we listened to, so they were just listening. Oh, like, that's right. So they were just hearing it, thinking that you guys were like thinking we were like rapping it. Yeah, we were coming like up the, with this the off the top of your head. Motherfuckers on life, and really, we're we they're knew like, what we were doing. Did you hear what he just said? He yeah, <laughs> yeah. Like they're like, I can't believe you guys. Where you guys get this shit from? But really, me and him the whole time know there was like, yo, we're just quoting our favorite. Mm-hmm. Rappers basically, mm-hmm. we're spitting their verses like, yo, this verse was better. Yeah. Verse, that's how I got into this shit. I don't know how the fuck we got to this point, but you know what I'm saying. I'm high though too, so you know what I mean. It's because I had literally asked you, and I wanted it. You know what I mean. So here we are. Anywho, and, we, and we're here. Here yeah. we are. We're done with that <laughs> y'all, segment. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still kind of, I'm still kind of <laughs> sad that we, we, y'all literally missed it. We had like at least a good 15 minutes of some dope ass, some funny Should shit. Should we give we're them talking. the highlights at least? That nah, or? man, fuck that shit. No, it's in the moment. It's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> if you Fucking if you weren't burn. there if you weren't there you're nothing damn you know so saying? just prince or what is this right here uh, beautiful <laughs> that's it yeah, oh that's prince prince is the prince, only one that heard this prince shit is the only beautiful one. is out the out the room she's like fuck y'all I'm tired of y'all already talking that crazy shit <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you see the other dog left and prince is the only one right here you know what I'm saying they don't give a fuck prince man it's holding the, it down it's the no invite podcast thank you for being here appreciate it <laughs> episode ninety five. We're rolling. I think this, I think we're good right now. Mm-hmm. We didn't say everything. Well, we didn't say everything <laughs> we needed to say because obviously there's 15 minutes of shit that y'all never fucking heard and you'll never and hear. you'll never hear. Y'all never hear again. It was only spoken once. How exclusive is that? I should sell that as an NFT. I don't even know what You the- could ask me about it, you guys. I'm yeah. easy. Exactly. <laughs> Make sure that you yeah, bang bang her DM and tell her. I did not her, say that. <laughs> oh, uh, I don't know. I thought you said ask. I mean, shit. I, you are. What's crazy? What's crazy is you say that, and then and then at the end of this podcast, you You'll give like, your. Bing, bing, where bing, can bing, they bing. find you at? <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> you can go look at my tie dye. But <laughs> go look at her tie dye shit, and she she said it right now. No unsolicited anything else. No, never. Just follow Nobody her. Ever wants unsolicited. Good vibes only. <laughs> <laughs> exactly good vibes only so um with that being said um this is the known by podcast episode 94 the only podcast that travels interdimensionally so no matter 95 oh whatever it must be in a different dimension then in, in this it dimension did it, 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 it did happen i could have sworn now nah, episode 95 like i said we're interdimensional so you might see us on a different dimension in a different universe but it's still the same us we're still talking the shit that we talk um, you can find us on Instagram at no <laughs> underscore invite underscore podcast. You can also go to the YouTube channel. That's Rebirth Media Films. That's R I B I R T H Media Films with a Z. We are always here for you, even if no one else is here for you. And that's pretty sad because if <laughs> we're the only thing that ha- that's here it's for you. It's not sad. Don't let them. Don't let them fucking downplay it. It's okay. We're here for you. <laughs> we're here for you no matter what. Though. Just remember that if nobody loves you, we love you. <laughs> you know, depending on who you are. <laughs> yeah, no weirdos. We don't love everybody. Just know that we love you, but we don't love everybody. <laughs> That's fucked up. <laughs>